give us an introduction? Yep. We're here again at Intel Research Day talking to... Daniel Paul. Yes. From Intel we spoke Labs. last year about ray tracing. So here we exactly. are again. Yeah, we're speaking we're, about ray tracing we're again. We're taking another look always, at ray tracing. Always an exciting topic. This time on uh, mobile devices. Yeah, on handheld devices. Okay. That's the new thing we're showing this time. We have first here this tablet PC where we show it and over here we have the ultra mobile PC with a smaller 5 inch screen where we have the same demo running. And what is this that we're looking at on the big screen? That's an offline rendered video that we just put there so people can see it a little bit better and further away. Okay, but how do I get that gorgeous uh, ray tracing? Uh, is that sort of the state of the art ray tracing right there? With well, the reflections in the glass? The, for the and game like ray tracing, that's pretty much the best I've seen so far. And what game is this? That's uh, Wolfenstein, it's the original game, but we enhanced it with the ray tracing rendering and added these objects like the chandelier model here with these glass effects. We're now calling it like Wolfenstein Ray Trace as a demo name. Can you get is that available to the public? Uh, no, that's just like a research project. Okay. Where we just took game content, enhanced it a little bit, added the ray tracing. Here, for example, the glass cup, you see all these very nice refractions of happening. And yeah. Yeah, these are effects that work very well with ray tracing and would otherwise be very hard to simulate. When will we see something that high end applied to? Well, game? it's hard to say. As researchers, we always look into the future. Yeah. Um, also, it depends on the game developers if they want and when they want. The last year you showed me some pretty cool ray tracing of water and things. And oh, did yeah. that ever make it into the game? No, not yet. Okay. All right. Sorry. Right. So back to uh, research, yeah. back to handhelds. Yeah. yeah. And well, so obviously the calculation is not done on this handheld device itself. It's done in the cloud, which are those two blue boxes over mm -hmm. here in our case. Each of them has a. Knight's Ferry card inside, it's from Intel Mic, many integrated core architecture. So we have 32 cores, 1.2 gigahertz, and yeah, one machine for one device in this case is calculating the ray traced image and streaming it over network to this handheld device. And currently in frame rate we are achieving like 30 frames per second. The resolution is 1024 by 600 pixels. And we can then also get our steering device here. One. What did Mike stand for again? Many integrated core. Okay. And okay, now let me figure out which is the right one. Okay, there here we go. go. So now we can interactively move around in the scene, just like if it were. So in a nutshell, what am I looking at? The ray tracing. Where's the heavy processing being done on this mic? Machine. Yep, all in the cloud. In and the then it's sending down what to the? Inside. What's running on the client here? Or on the, the client, we have just a well special client software that yeah. receives compressed images and displays it as fast as possible on okay. the screen. Very good. And the result For, is, is not quite as uh, no, not quite complicated as, good as, as that. The offline render but is one. it? Let's see some. Uh, can we see some? Here Actually, we have that's the pretty. Uh, here, for example, where we can zoom into these. Uh, why is it so uh, pixelated there? Here we don't have anti-aliasing enabled yeah. compared to the video, okay. but otherwise it's the same calculations we're All doing right. here. Well, that's wonderful. All right. Well, thanks again. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you next year. Yep.